I'm Andy Jones, Director of the National Museum of Decorative Painting, and I'd like to welcome you to a milestone exhibition, Josanya, A Life in Folk Art, and I'm here with the artist Josanya Jansen. Thank you, Andy. Um, it, is, it was a surprise, a complete surprise, and a wonderful moment in my life and continues to be. Thank you all very much for coming tonight. Uh, this has been um, an event that's been a little bit more than three years in the making. Uh, three years ago, uh, Peggy Harris, uh, myself, Mark, and Josanya sat down way too early in the morning for my taste in Las Vegas to have a breakfast meeting. And I mentioned to her that we would like to do an exhibition of her artwork. And she was gracious enough to agree to let us do that, and she has been incredibly gracious throughout the three-year process of putting this together. Um, and if uh, you just come up here, dear, a couple years ago, uh, we had a trustees meeting here at the museum, and we were thinking about um, an award that might be given from the museum, and it was decided that we would designate an artist a living treasure. And unanimously and instantly, the name Josanya came out. And that was, that was the end of that. She was going to be designated our living treasure. And so, you, you'll be okay. It, yeah. it, it, it's okay. So in Las Vegas this year, uh, we surprised her uh, with a proclamation uh, designated, designating her as our living treasure. And for the museum, a living treasure is a person who's standard of excellence is completely unparalleled and that they possess a unique skill that uh, that few will ever possess in their lifetime and to finally has that uh, in spades she is phenomenal she is exceptional she is sharing she is giving she teaches her art form she shares everything she knows about it and that's what our living treasures are they are people who want to see this art form carried forth, reinvented, and reinvented, and reinvented for eternity. And if it weren't for people like Josanya, who believe in sharing everything they know about painting, this art form would die. And there are a lot of people in this room who have painted with her many, many times, and who have developed their own technique, and their own style, and their own methods. And this is what keeps decorative painting moving forward for us. So, if um, Phil will hand me this, I don't have another proclamation to give you, but I do have a commemorative plate that designates you as a living treasure that the museum would like to present to you. It's a little big to wear as a pen, but I think it'll be suitable in your studio. So, this is for our living treasure. Decorative painting doesn't only reach uh, artists, it reaches well beyond uh, decorative painters. And so I would like to present a, a certificate of recognition from your senator and your assemblyman. Um, really? Senator Maureen <laughs> Evans and State Assemblyman Wesley Chesborough. I'll have to look at them again. <laughs> Well, they are, they are your state senator and your representative. So, so they know that you're a living treasure there in California as well. Thank you. This is my pleasure. So, not only do people in California 
know that you are a living treasure. We have for you a United States flag which has been flown over the Capitol building in your honor of you being designated a living treasure. And I have a certificate for you from the architect of the White House. So congratulations, Jeff. for just a second. Your friends, Norma and Bill Harrington, sent you a congratulatory card. And then a donation has been made in your honor to the museum. So that's an acknowledgement of that for you. So Thank you. We, we Thank are so appreciative of all you do for us and for decorative painting. So thanks, my living treasure. I'm so glad I came out. I'm from Seattle. I came all the way from Seattle. Oh, wow. oh it was wonderful. And it was so good to see Josanya again. And, and we're honored that she was honored. It was wonderful to see all these pieces. I haven't been out to California to see them in person. So it was wonderful to see them, to see her. We love her. We, her, her she has just taken us under her wing as students for so many years. So it's just really fun to be here. Ditto, ditto, ditto. A very, very special event. <laughs> Tonight's event was, was miraculous. It was worth coming down from Indiana for and um, <clears throat> circumventing the crash in 75 and the construction and so forth. It took much longer than it should have, but the event was well worth coming for. I, I just enjoy Josonia so much. She's been such a treasure to me and has encouraged me in my painting endeavors and it was a treasure to be able to come and see her on my side of America. <laughs> I'm Mark Chance and I'm Josonia's oldest son and I've been had the distinct privilege of not only being her son but actually working with her for the past 30 years. So we're a family business and my mom and dad are two of the most special people on the face of the earth. Tonight was fantastic. She is the most giving person I've ever come across. Despite the fact that I'm her biggest fan because I'm her son. Uh, this, is, this is her life. She loves this and she loves being with people. She loves teaching her art, sharing her art, living her art. For her, it's never been a business. It's always been her passion. And so this is a fulfillment of years worth of hard work for her and a real labor of joy. Congratulations, Mom. I love you.